evening. Good evening, Kanata team. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay. Uh, we're also joined in by our education counselor, Roy. Uh, so he's the one with the blue background. Um, so uh, for today's events, we'll be first starting with Ms. Ina's presentation, followed by uh, our own presentation from Kanata. And then uh, we will proceed with the Q&A at the last, last portion of this um, info session. Okay. So Ms. Ina, whenever you're ready. All right. Um, give me a second. Okay, and can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. So again, my name is Ina, and I'm the representative of Fansha College for the Philippines. And um, thank you for joining this um, evening's webinar. And um, thank you also, Kanata, for hosting this. So Kanata is one of our education partners in the Philippines. They have been sending students to Fansha College uh, for a few years now. So they can help you with both school and study permit application. So today in my presentation, I will be sharing with you information about Fansha College, uh, the programs that we offer, the opportunities for you, and also the student benefits that you can receive um, once that you start your program in Fansha. If ever you have questions, um, like what um, Andre mentioned, we have a... a um, a section later specifically for the Q&A. So you can just type in the chat um, if ever you have questions and we'll be addressing it later on. So let me introduce to you Fansha College first. So Fansha College is located in London, Ontario. So it's one of the largest cities in the province. Primarily, we are in the southwestern part of the province. And since we are um, um, one of the largest cities um, in Ontario, we are also representing a number of um, industries in the southwestern region of the province. And you can see that translated dun sa mga programs that we offer um, that I will be discussing later on. So in terms of proximity, we are two hours away from Toronto Airport, and that's the main entry point of our students. In terms of our student population, we have 22,000 full-time students and 7,500 of them are international, representing 104 different countries. So as you may know, siguro nakakita rin kayo ng mga vlogs or you have seen online, um, Canada is a very multicultural country. Same goes with Fancho College. The people that you will meet in the campus, you will also uh, meet in London City. We have... Um, they are representing a number of nationalities as well. And since 2020, Philippines has been ranked the second biggest market or country in the international student population of Fancho. So madami na rin talagang Filipino students and most likely ko ano man yung program na nasa isip nyo ngayon that you plan to study in Fancho College, baka meron kayong isa or dalawa or baka limang Filipino students who will be in the same program as you and the same intake as you. And in terms of how we deliver our programs, starting fall 2022, all of our programs are delivered face-to-face, -face, which means you have to be in Canada to start your program. Hindi na po natin ina-allow yung online classes um, to, as an international student in Canada. And this is also good, good news to majority of international students kasi iba rin talaga yung learning when it's done face-to-face. -face. Alam naman natin na... Um, very enriching pa rin talaga kung may face-to-face -face interaction, especially um, if the program that you're looking for or that you're uh, applying into is very much skills-based. And that's what is true to Fancho College. We have experiential learning within our programs because we want our students to develop the knowledge and the skills needed by the industry while they are still studying in Fancho. So, in terms of experiential learning, uh, meron pa rin tayo mga theory-based um, subjects or academic subjects in the program. Of course, um, kailangan pa rin balance siya. So we have theory, theory and at the same time, malaki yung focus in terms of practice or yung experiential learning that we have in the program. So you will have academic classes, so may mga lectures kayo, meron kayong mga exams, mga research paper and whatnot. But majority of your time will be focused on practice or experiential learning. 
And one of our best practices in terms of experiential learning is that many of our programs would have placements and co-op. So if you've already started your search about studying in Canada, you will come across itong mga terminologies na to. So in Fansho, many of our programs would have placements and a number of them would also have co-op. So ano bang difference ito in terms of Fansho programs? For placements, it's um, shorter in terms of duration and it's normally combined with your academic classes. For example, I'm a student in... Uh, let's say, early childhood education. So starting my second semester, second, third, and fourth semester, aside from my usual academic classes, meron akong time to spend in a primary or secondary school or in a daycare for my placement. So it's actually part of your program. It's part of the component of your program. So you, it's um, parang dun mo mapapractice lahat ng pinag-aralan mo um, like ng mga fundamentals and mga theory na pinag-aralan mo in your academic classes. Also, placements are not generally paid but it will depend on the employer that you're in if they will give you, let's say, an allowance or um, some incentives while you are in your placements. For co-op or cooperative education, it's longer in terms of duration. At ito, hindi ka hindi siya kasama with any of your academic classes. You usually you will usually have your co-op within your summer term or towards the latter portion of your program. Kasi yun yung peak times or seasons na yung mga industry partners namin are looking for additional manpower. So they are hiring and accepting co-op program students from Fanshawe College. So those are placements and co-op and Sorry, I forgot to tell you. For co-op, it's actually paid internship. So you can earn higher than minimum wage or let's say um, yeah, 15 to 15 CAD per hour, you minimum wage in Canada. Or sometimes kung very generous si um, co-op uh, employer mo, pwedeng minimum um minimum I mean, entry level salary ng company nila yung ibibigay sa'yo during your co-op. So if ever naman that your program doesn't have any placements or co-op, meron pa rin tayo mga programs sa ganyan. Um, some of you might ask, what if uh, meron pa rin mga experiential learning or opportunities for us for those types of programs? The answer is yes. Because the experiential learning that we are offering, it's not just limited to placements and co-op. Marami kayong um, opportunities for mentorship, uh, portfolio development, capstone project, and all these activities are actually in cooperation with our industry partners within London and within um, Ontario and within Canada. So um, uh, in one way or another, you will still get a foot on the door, especially if you will be using those types of opportunities um, when you look for jobs after graduation. Now let's talk about the programs that we offer. So like I said, um, we are representing the number of industries in southwestern part of the province of Ontario. So this is the reason why we have 200 plus programs across 17 areas of study. So the reason why we are keep, we are we keep on offering these programs because we don't meet the demand for for employees um, or manpower for that specific industry. So in terms of the programs that you are looking for, I hope that um, we offer it in Fansho College. And normally for students coming from the Philippines, they are applying to a program that is very much related to their work experience and degree back in college so that it's also easier for them to um, apply for a study permit, the writer's statement of purpose, and maganda yung narrative natin um, and yung career progression natin going to Canada. In terms of the credentials that you um, can receive from Fansha, so we have four-year degree programs, we have one-year post-secondary certificate, two-year diploma, three-year advanced diploma, and if you already have a degree and work experience on the same field and you also want to study further, we have graduate certificates available for you. So we don't have a master's or um, PhD programs 
um, in Fanshawe because the highest credential that you can receive from a college is a graduate certificate program. If you're looking for those types of post-grad programs such as master's or PhD, you might need to consider exp or explore universities in Canada. So, sobrang dami naming programs and you also have different credentials that you can um, 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 receive after you finish your program. But this, in my next slide, I'll be sharing with you how you can narrow down your choice of program uh, based on the credentials that you have, the program you can study at Fancho, and also the postgraduate opportunities for you. So since um, we have transitioned to K-12, hindi naman lahat nakapag K-12. Um, so we have different types of applicants coming from the Philippines, and we have categorized it into three. The first category would be high school graduates. So these are the students from the old curriculum of DepEd. They weren't able to finish college or they weren't able to get to have the senior high school grades 11 and 12. So here, if you know someone or you are in this category and you still want to go to Canada to study, you have to take our general arts and science before you can proceed to any one to three year post-secondary program. So ano ba tong general arts and science na to? This will actually compensate for the missing two years of senior high school or two years of college that we normally um, require for an international applicant. So this is the parang uh, minimum requirement for, for you guys. So um, many of our students in this category are actually OFWs. So sila yung mga... Um, applicants na natapos ng high school, pumuntang abroad to support their family, and now they want to further study and explore Canada para, uh, for better opportunities. So this is um, general arts and science. If in case nakapagtapos ka ng associate degree or in an, from an academic institution, not TESDA, and you also finished at least two years in college, and you have a transcript that can show you that you're able to finish at least two years, you can be exempted from general arts and can proceed directly to a post-secondary program. So yun ay kung meron kang associate degree at least two years and college um, subjects at least two years. But if wala... Kung one year lang or one sem lang yung inaral natin in college, tapos old curriculum, kailangan yung pong mag-general arts and science. So this is the first category. The second category would be, um, I think, applicable to majority of you. You're both high school and college graduates. So here you have, well, technically a lot of flexibility because you can choose whatever program that you wish to study, depending na lang how long you plan to study and your program of interest. So you can proceed with a post-secondary program or a graduate certificate for career progression. And the last one would be K-12 graduates. So if you are a parent and ayaw mo nang mag-invest um, mag ng sobrang laking pera for, for, uh, for universities here in the Philippines and you just want to um, send your kid to Canada, um, they can apply directly to a post-secondary program um, no, they, know, they don't need the general arts because technically they have grades 11 and 12 already. So as long as they were able to meet the admission requirements for that post-secondary program, they can proceed with such. Or if they want to study a degree program directly at Fancho, we have a, a very few um, degree programs, they can also be admitted to that as long as they are able to meet the admission requirements. So with the credentials that you have right now and the program that you will study at Fanshawe College, you're able to complete at Fanshawe College. Um, if you study a one-year program, you will be eligible for a one-year post-graduation work permit or PGWP. And if you study at least a two-year program, or let's say you have grad certificates, namin, it's majority of them are one year. So if you finish two one-year programs, you may be eligible to up to three-year post-graduation work permit. So why is Fancho providing this type of opportunity? Um, because we are a designated learning institution in Canada and we are a public college. So lahat po ng programs that we offer to 
um, to international students that are considered full-time even if it has placement or co-op or kung wala siyang co-op or placement as long as it's a full-time program, even our general arts and science and some preparatory courses like pre-health, they are eligible for a post-graduation work permit. So please check um, and be very mindful for that because some 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 applicants might ask, um, pag kuwa po ba, hindi ba siya eligible for PGWP? So the answer is, as long as the program is a full-time program in a DLI, such as Fansho, it's eligible for a post-graduation work permit. And later on, I believe, um, in the presentation of Roy, um, bibigyan natin importance or further explanation yung PGWP because that's actually um, one of the best benefits of studying in Canada. And also, if ever you have questions about program recommendation, I would highly suggest to book an appointment with Kanata um, so that they can look at your profile and give you the program recommendation because the program recommendation that they will be providing hindi lang siya para makakuha ng letter of acceptance sa Fansho. But they also have to consider yung chances natin to get a study permit approval because that's the main thing that you need um, aside from the LOA, you have to get the study permit approval to go to Canada and start your program in Fanshawe College. Now let's talk about the student services that we um, are offering to international students. So upon arrival, I mentioned that uh, London, Ontario is two hours away from Toronto. So if wala po tayong relatives who can pick us up in the airport and bring us to London, we have a Fanshawe Cares Arrival Service Program for our students arriving for the first time. And this is provided 30 days prior to start of intake. So this service includes transportation from Toronto to London City or to any of our regional campuses. And if let's say you're having a hard time to look for accommodation um, before you arrive in Canada, you can actually stay in our, dis um, in our partner hotels and you can get a discount rate in your, during your stay um, as a financial student. Also, as an international student, you have access to the International Center. So if you have any questions about your program, admission, and student immigration-related concerns, you can reach out to them. Um, I'm also part of the International Center, but I mainly focus on marketing and recruitment for the Philippines. For any academic assistance, we have the Learning Center. So you're very much free to um, book an appointment or book a tutor if ever you have, you're having questions or you're having a hard time in your academic classes. Also, lagi kong sinasabi to sa pre-departure orientation that if, you're if you feel that you're failing or you're about to fail um, a subject, please reach out to your professor please reach out to your program coordinator and academic advisor as soon as possible para maremedyohan pa natin. Because if you wait until the last week of the term, it might be too late for them to give you extra points and for you to get back on track with your studies. So, hindi naman natin... Um, in the disregard na may mga students talagang um, that, that might be... Um, challenged in terms of their, their academics kasi matagal din naman tayo hindi nakapag um, hindi, tayo, hindi tayo pumuntang school at nag-aaral. So it will really take a while for you guys to be uh, adjusted in terms of learning and studying again. So as much as possible, please reach out to, your, um, um, to the people who can provide help um, for your issues and your concerns. And of course, if you're doing well academically, you can apply for our scholarships and bursaries. We don't have any entrance scholarship, but you can apply for a scholarship after your first semester. And normally it's merit-based, so it will depend on the GPA that you will receive. And usually it ranges from 500 to 2,000 Canadian dollars. And the last student service that I would like to highlight today is our Career and Employment Service Center. So I know that the, uh, the short-term goal after graduation from Fansha would be landing a job. So for everything, like the preparation, giving you the resources to look for jobs, um, 
giving you tips and whatnot in terms of job and employment. Um, Career and Employment Service Center is your one-stop access to everything about this. So we have career fairs all year round. We have um, um, career coaching. We have we can help you create your LinkedIn account. You have access to a dashboard that will show you job opportunities, and you have access to it five years after graduation. So everything, lahat ng preparation, lahat ng resources, ibinibigay namin and assistance ibinibigay namin sa students, so that you will be job ready by the time you finish your program in Fanshawe College. In terms of tuition fee and living expenses, this is very important because as you may know, studying in Canada is a very big investment. It's not just a financial investment, um, emotional investment din siya because you're you're going to move to a totally different country, lalong lalo na if you're going to start on your own without any um, help from any relative or friends and whatnot. So in terms of program tuition and fees, it can range from 16 to 18,000 Canadian dollars. And this is for one year or two semesters. Um, our fees change every academic year. Um, also, magta change din siya if nagtaas yung mga um, insurance provider namin and yung, mga, uh, yung, yung LDC for your bus pass. Um, in terms of the payments, the first payment that you have to settle in Fansha College would be the 2300 Canadian dollars. And that is called our tuition fee deposit. That is due 30 days from the issuance of your LOA or letter of acceptance. The next payment that you have to settle um, would be the balance of your first semester. Kasi deducted po yung deposit nyo dun sa first SEM tuition fee. And it will it has to be paid um, two to three months before the start of class. Do not worry about um, the schedule, the deadlines, and whatnot. Because you will be um, reminded and you, we will communicate with you. If ever uh, may invoice na and um, kung kailan yung deadline for your payments. Um, also, your program tuition fee is inclusive of bus pass. This is very unique for Fancho students because hindi lahat ng schools in Canada, lalong lalo na sa Ontario, are providing bus pass to their students. So this will actually save you a lot of money because pagdating natin sa Canada, wala naman tayong car kaagad. So if you are very accustomed to driving your um yourself to to work um back in the Philippines iba siya sa Canada kasi mahal talaga magkaroon ng kotse. So um probably in the first few months or probably years you will be commuting um going to your part-time job, um going to the grocery and going to the campus. So commute time in London, the average um, commute time is 22 minutes. So hindi siya katulad dito sa Philippines that it will take a long while. And also your bus pass is um, includes, included already in your tuition fee. So this bus pass, if you're familiar with Beep Card in Cebu and also in Manila, your ID in Fancho, you just have to tap it every time you ride the bus. So that is free for you. Um, and it's not limited as well dun sa mga bus routes going to the campus. You can use it anywhere within London City 24-7, even on holidays and weekends. So that will save you a lot of money in terms of transportation. Same goes with the, tuition, um, with the insurance. You are covered with a very comprehensive insurance as an international student. And it's a mandate for all schools in Canada to include it in the tuition fee, lalo lalo na nung nag, um, nung nag pandemic. Um, and aside from the normal health benefits, you're also covered with dental and vision insurance um, as a financial student. For books and other expenses, it's not part of your tuition fee. Uh, but it can range from 500 to 2000 Canadian dollars. You will be notified if available na yung course requirements for your program. Um, but again, it depends on the program that you will study and kung ano yung mga requirements nila, um, for that, those specific subjects. For accommodation, specifically off campus housing, it can range from 6000 to 8000 Canadian dollars for one year. If you're looking for a single occupancy monthly rent, 500 and below, you can um, already find an, a good accommodation that is inclusive of rent, utilities, and Wi-Fi. Just to share with you one of the major reasons why Filipino students or other international students are choosing Fancho College is because of the living expenses in London City. 
London City is actually 40% more affordable in terms of housing um, and living expenses if you will compare it to GTA or Greater Toronto Area Cities. So um, in terms of, let's say, kung wala ka namang family member who can help you for accommodation and first time mong pupunta sa Canada, you, have, you will be starting on your own. London City is a great place for you to start because um, hindi mo makakompromise yung quality of life mo. You have access to good quality education and in terms of the living expenses, um, you will be able to look for accommodation na affordable yung price. And yun nga, in transportation, kasama na rin sa tuition fee mo. So, madami ka talagang masasave up. And those savings, you can use it to, um, to let's say, rent a bigger space. If gusto mo mag-move out after your lease, or um, you can save up um, those, yung mga savings mo um, towards the end of your program if you plan to move to a different city. And also, we're happy to say na kahit yung mga students namin in Fansho, even if they're able to finish their program already, since nagsistart pa lang talaga sila sa Canada, they decided to stay in London. Kasi um, okay yung living expenses. Hindi siya ganun kamahal. And um, why is the new decision nila to stay in London? Um, so that after a few years, they can go to um, other places or other cities if they plan to apply for um let's say, a better job or, let's say, to apply for a permanent residency. So this would be the summary of our tuition fee and living expenses. And again, for um, estimates about the cost of your studies will depend on your profile. So the program that you will be studying, if you're traveling alone or with a family or with a spouse. So it is discussed with Kanata. So studying at Fansho, we have three main intakes, so fall, winter, and summer. Right now, we're currently accepting applications for all 2023 intakes starting this January. For January intake, if gusto nyo pa kung humabol, pwede pa. We are issuing LOA. Some of our programs are still open, but as much as possible, if you will apply for January, please get your letter of acceptance within this month so that you will have enough time to apply for um, a study permit and um, settle in in Canada because you have to be there by December because first week of January, you start the class. For the application requirements, these are the minimum requirements that we need from you. So you have to apply, uh, you have to submit uh, both high school and college transcripts and diplomas if you're going to apply for a post-secondary program. And if you're applying for a graduate certificate program, you just have to submit your college transcript and diploma. We are also not requiring IELTS or any English test um, or certificate of medium of instruction for Filipinos um, if you're applying at FANSO College, except for the two programs, the pharmacy technician and occupational therapy. So other health sciences program, hindi na po siya um, kailangan ng IELTS and other um, um, field, pro, um, other uh, program field as well, ni na kailangan ng IELTS or academic test. So that's the end of my presentation. If you want to know more about Fansho, feel free to check out our website and also our social media pages. And if ever you're going to apply to, Kana um, to Fansho College through Kanata Education, we will be waiving your 100 CAD application fee. So may savings kayo in around 4,000 pesos um, to get a letter of acceptance. And we're fairly fast in issuing LOAs. Um, as fast as four business days, you can already have your LOA at Fansho College, as long as you're, you have the complete documents. So with that, thank you, and I will be staying in for the question and answer portion. Okay, thank you so much for that very detailed presentation, Ina. Uh, so uh, again, uh, if you have any questions for Fansho or Kanata, just type them in the chat box below, and then we'll address them once the Q&A starts. So, um, Right now, we will be presenting our own presentation, and it will be presented by Sir Roy Cruz, one of our education counselors. Uh, so, so Roy, whenever you're ready, just let us know.
Okay, so good evening guys. Um, I'm Roy Cruz, one of the education counselors of Canada. So welcome to our um, info session. So, um, okay. For our tonight's topic is who we are as an agency, what services can we provide to you, uh, what is there in Canada, processes, um, opportunities as a student, international student and after your um, student life. Okay, Canada originates from the word Kanata, which means village or coming together. So we are one of the leading agencies in Manila for Canada with five uh, over five years experience in visa processing and student consultation. So we will be uh, working directly with you and represent you or um, we are working directly with um, partner schools in Canada. So we help our students to achieve their dream by providing um, our services at no extra cost. So that's our mission. And um, what we can provide to you as our services is we can provide free assessment to students prior to application, represent you to the chosen schools and program, and provide you the comprehensive list of requirements. And lastly, um, we will assist you all throughout the process. So Canada is second, the second largest country by land with 10, ter uh, 10 provinces, three territories, and four regions. So um, Canada is known to be one of the most educator, uh, educated countries in the world. Uh, it has um, international accreditation, the affordability, or it's more affordable comparing to other countries like US, UK, and, or Australia and promotes um, um, inclusivity, uh, has com um, great community and global education, language education rather. Um, has exciting campus, uh, campus um, innovative education and the possible migration. And lastly, the unlimited opportunities. So, um, as an international student, you have benefits. So before the benefits, I would like to re remind everyone regarding the rules and regulations or terms of conditions about your student permit. Always enrolled at a DLI or Designated Learning Institute um, and make progress towards completing your program. Respect the conditions of your student permit. If you do not meet the requirements, uh, you need to um, stop studying and leave the Canada when you're uh, leave Canada when your permit expires. So first benefit is you can work while you're studying. You have three options. First, uh, first option is you can work on campus. You don't need a work permit. You just have to be a full-time student with a valid student permit. Second option is off campus. You don't, uh, also, you don't need a work permit and um, you just have to um, uh, enroll in a program and the program should have started. And la uh, third option is the co-op. Co-op is mainly like a OGT in us or internship. It is already incorporated with the program. So here's the restrictions for uh, uh, your first, bene first benefit is you can only work for 20 hours during your school semester while uh, or during your uh, semester of weeks, you can work full time or uh, 40 hours per week. So third benefit is you can stay in Canada after your program. So for programs uh, with a duration of less than eight months, you are not eligible for a postgraduate per permit. But with programs um, that has a time duration of one year, you will be eligible for a one year postgraduate per permit. And lastly, if you have, uh, if you are enrolled in a program which is uh, two years or above, um, you are, you will be eligible up to three years postgraduate per permit. So second benefit is you can bring your dependents, um, which is classified as your spouse or common law partner, and your children, which is um, uh, below eighteen. So what are the documents you need to provide? So first is you need to have a valid passport, 
birth certificate, your school documents, which is academic transcripts and diplomas, your certificate of employment, valid IDs, IELTS results if needed, and lastly, your resume. So what will be the process if you have that documents already? So first is consult with a counselor, gather and submit the required documents, apply to a designated learning institution, um, wait for the letter of acceptance, Confirm and confirm your slot and pay your by paying your tuition fee. Um, after that, you need to get a medical test, complete all the visa requirements, and lastly, we will be the one who will submit the visa application for you. So we have uh, two kinds of uh, visa application. So we have the regular stream, which um, one of the most preferred visa application of the students. Next is uh, the study direct stream or the hassle free type of application. So what are the differences? So here's a table comparing the two. So for regular stream, we just, uh, yeah. Uh, for, for, uh, for regular stream, you just need to settle or pay your one semester tuition fee a proof of financial capability in the form of bank statements uh, with at least the amount of one year tuition fee and your one year living cost of 10,000 Canadian dollars. You don't need to take a or submit a IELTS exam, IELTS test results, and provide the letter of acceptance from the school, study plan and proof of identity. While on the other hand, for study direct stream, you have to settle your one year tuition fee. Purchase a guaranteed investment certificate worth 10,000 Canadian dollars and also have an IELTS results with no lower than 6.0. And of course, the letter of acceptance from the school, study plan, and proof of identity. So, what are the services that we can provide to you? You can apply for our services with no extra cost, no processing fees. Yes, you heard it right with no processing fees. You just need to provide us your passport, your resume, your academic transcripts, and um, deposit or pay, just um, send us um, security deposit of 10,500 pesos, which be consumable for your visa application and biometrics fees. Uh, after providing us the security or sending us your security deposit, we you, will, uh, you can enjoy all already our services with free assessment, unlimited consultation, and of course, the free assistance. So we will provide our services is from end to end. We will, we will be there for you all throughout the process. So uh, follow us on our socials. So we have our, face, our Facebook is Kanata Education and our Instagram and this is our um, contact number. You can also email us at inquiries at canataedu.com. And if you, are, if you are willing to meet us at the office, you can um, walk in um, at our office located at the Enterprise Tower 2, Ayala Avenue, Corner Pasederos in Makati City. So um, also follow us on our uh, YouTube channel. We provide you... Um, value contents there so we have uh, tips and tricks uh, with regards to the visa app or application in study in canada also new updates success stories of the students okay with uh, miss catherine may as our youtube um, channel so we can um, provide the to canada through canada so we are opening all the uh, floor for the question and answer. Okay, uh, thank you so much for presenting our company, Roy. Uh, again, we will be proceeding with the question and answer portion. Okay, uh, so if you have your questions, please line them up in the chat box below, uh, and then we'll get to them as soon as we can. Okay, uh, so first question here. Uh, can I know what programs are still available for January 2023 intakes? Okay, um, for this question, I would highly recommend that you book a consultation with us so that we can discuss 
what courses are available um, in this specific intake uh, since uh, it is the nearest intake so it's the it's the one with the least seats so we'll, we'll still need to check um, since uh, every uh, uh, you have to keep in mind that not every course has uh, an intake for the three intakes of Canada so th that's something to consider as well um, but yeah uh, do book a consultation with us and then you can also ask any question you want uh, or any uh, anything really okay uh, okay another question here uh, is there an entrance test for canada schools um okay uh, i th i think i can answer this one um majority of our schools do not require an entrance test save for some um, something specific like let's say for uh lambton college uh but yeah it, other than that majority of our schools do not require an entrance test so um yeah uh Ina, do you have do you have any entrance tests that the students need to be aware of um not in many of our programs there are coming specialized programs that would require um a specific uh, admission requirement such as portfolio or let's say use a music and industry arts program namin you have to provide a sample of recording um, before you can be admitted in the program. But majority naman walang entrance test or exam. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Nina. Okay. Uh, Roy, any questions on your end? Yes. Um, there is a question. Is there is a, is there a personal support worker course or program for January 2023 intake? So yeah. Yeah, we have many PSW programs. Um, we offer it in not just in one campus, not just only in London, but also in our regional campuses. But the one in London is already closed. Um, so if you're targeting London, the next available intake would be September 2023. Okay. Thank you, Missina. Okay, uh, I have another question here. Um, Okay, this is one. This is one. Uh, this one is from our YouTube audience. So, I am one of your followers uh, since. I want to know this. Do you only help Philippines? I'm in Ghana, but um, uh, can you help me? Okay. Um, so we can help some of our um, uh, international uh, students uh, that are outside from the Philippines as long as you're a Philippine passport holder. Uh, we are able to assist. Uh, so please do book a consultation with us so that we can get more into detail about your specific situation. Um, and then uh, if you have any questions in regards to the legalities, I would recommend that uh, uh, you, you also write those down and then uh, we'll answer, we'll try to address those in the consultation session. Okay. Okay. Um, I have another question here. Okay. Um, are international students eligible to be student athletes? Um, so I think he's asking for a student, uh, like a student athlete scholarship or something like yeah. that. Okay. So if you are into sports and you're able to be, uh, you're able to be part of the team um, at Fanshaw, any sport, um, you actually have a bursary um, for that. So you can do a tryout, you can join the tryouts, and then once that you have a spot, then you can apply for bursaries. Because normally, um, it's given to you once na, I think, medyo, medyo tenured na siya, not necessarily right on the onset of you uh, being a part of the team. Okay. Um, okay, I, I think we have a lot of... Uh interested uh, considering the philippines there's a lot of um, athletic persons uh, in in our country so definitely it's bound to be an interest for them as well um but yeah uh they do offer bursaries so as as miss Ina mentioned so yes uh if you have if you, if you think you have the skill you can try out for one of their teams maybe make it to the toronto raptors or something <laughs> um okay uh roy do you have any questions Yes, um, Miss Ina, how about uh, for the in-campus or off-campus accommodations, uh, do you provide or recommend uh, places where um, our international students should go? 
Yes. So during pre-departure orientation, we will provide you some helpful tips and sites wherein you can go um, and look for off-campus accommodation. Um, we also have our Fan Shakers team. They are running a weekly session and there, there's one specifically for housing so that you would know kung ano yung mga rights nyo as, um, um, as a renter in Canada and also kung ano yung mga kailangan yung i-check when you are about to sign a contract and if, when you're about to sign, I mean, to pay your reservation fee dun sa um, ililist ng property. So, we will provide um, assistance um, and I think Kanata has been, again, they have been sending students to Fansho and um, they have established a network already for um, for some Filipino students already in London. So they can also provide um, recommendation and connect you with them as well. Thank you, Ms. Ina. Okay, uh, our next question here. Uh, how much ang minimum amount that we need to pay for the tuition so Fancho while still in the Philippines. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong on this, Ina, uh, but I think the, the amount, the initial deposit is uh, 2,300 Canadian dollars uh, and it has a deadline of 30 days upon the issuance of the LOA. So uh, is, does that sound right? Yes. So that's the first payment that we have to settle. And then the next payment um, will still be in the Philippines. Um, but it's the balance naman yung ng first semester tuition fee mo. Okay. Okay, so just to be clear, uh, before you step into Canada, you need to pay at least a minimum of a semester's worth of your tuition uh, to be able to qualify, okay? Um, okay, uh, another question here. Uh, is there a need for a show money during visa application? Okay, um, when it comes to the show money, it really depends uh, on the program, uh, on the family members that will be coming with you. Um, again, book a consultation with us. We'll discuss the specifics and anything, and any questions that you have, uh, have for that specific topic. Okay, Roy? Yes, um, Ms. Ina, how about for the part-time work availability for our international students? Um, is it around the... Um, vicinity of the school or the area of London? Okay. So within um, London City, you have a lot of part-time job available. Um, also in campus, actually ngayon na nag-face-to-face na, increase, in, increasing na rin yung available in-campus job opportunities for our students. So um, in terms of looking for jobs, you can still Look for jobs, but you can only start once that you like, start your class. Mo. Um, in terms of assistance, we can help you. You can book an appointment with a career advisor sa Career and Employment Service Center. And also, please um, make use of the activities and opportunities provided to you ng Career and Employment Service Center para at least matulongan namin kayo in one way or another. Thank you. Andre? I think you Sorry, are... I was muted. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, okay, I have a question here. Uh, do you have a campus in Brampton? Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, Ina, but I think the nearest campus in Brampton would be the Toronto campus. Yes. Uh, is that correct? Um, yeah. But do, uh, do take note that uh, there are a limited option, uh, selection of, uh, I, I do believe it's hospitality and uh, something related to medical, if I'm not mistaken. Um, those are the fields that are offered uh, in the Toronto campus. So um, if you want specific, if you want to go for a specific course that's not in that field, uh, do book a consultation with us so that we can refer you to a better one. Okay. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, are there any dorms? Uh, I think this is dormitories in Fanshawe. Um, so, uh, Ina, do you offer, uh, remind me, do you offer in, uh, in-campus lodgings or anything like that? Yes, we do, but it's only for single students. If you have pets, if you have a kid or a spouse, hindi po kayo pwede sa in-campus accommodation. You have to choose off-campus. Um, in terms of in-campus accommodation, you can reserve a unit as soon as you have your visa approval. Okay. Okay, Roy, any questions on your end? Yes. Um, for Ms. Ina, 
uh, Miss Ina, um, do you have any additional requirements for certain programs like uh, media or healthcare, uh, like practical nursing or something? Or for the media, do they need to provide a um, portfolio for that pro kind of programs? Okay. Um, for media programs, um, I, yung iba wala naman, especially if it's a diploma program. Um, we have specialized programs such as BIM and Integrated Practice. Um, so that requires an Autodesk Revit certificate. Um, we also have yung sinabi ko kanina, yung Music and Industry Arts program. Kailangan may sample um, recording ka so that you can be admitted. There's also several supplementary um, requirements in the professional communication program that we have. But majority, hindi naman kailangan. Yung health sciences namin, I'd like to point that out. Our health sciences program, if you're applying for a diploma or um, the advanced diploma in health science, you have to, to apply for pre-health. That's a mandatory requirement for all students, both international and domestic. So kahit nurse ka na po dito, kailangan niyo pa rin mag pre-health. And then um, after pre-health, that's the time that you can proceed with a health science diploma and advanced diploma. All right. Thank you, Miss Ina. Okay. Um, I, I think I have uh, time for one more question here. Uh, does Pancho allow multiple enrollments? Um, this is a bit of a vague question. Um, okay, uh, I think let's try to break it down first. Uh, for the multiple enrollments, uh, Ina, can I ask, uh, is it possible to enroll for two courses simultaneously or does Pancho only allow only one? So we cannot offer two LOAs for one student. Um, if in case you want to apply for like a one plus one type of letter of acceptance, we can issue one LOA with the two programs. Pero yung second program mo, the condition is that you have to finish your first program for that before you can proceed with the second one. And okay. I think it's in allow ng IRCC. I don't think a school will have those, uh, will, will allow that. Okay. Okay. Um... Well, that's all the time that we have for today's uh, question and answer portion. Um, I hope you, uh, you've you learned something new with us. Uh, I hope you it, it sparked an interest to apply for Fanshawe. Uh, Fanshawe does offer a lot of uh, programs, not just in healthcare or hospitality. So there are a lot of fields, uh, like in media, um, let's say business as well. So uh, definitely, whatever program you have in mind, Fanshawe will definitely have a place for you. Okay. Um, okay, that's it for our info session for today. Thank you so much, Ina, for joining us and answering our questions. Uh, thank you, Roy, for presenting uh, Kanata and representing us. Um, and again, thank you, everyone that's attended this meeting. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye, everyone. Happy weekend. Bye, everyone. Happy weekend. Thank you, Miss Ina. Thank you.